Hey class, this is Mr. Corsi, and today we're going to talk about importing a 3D scanned image into Blender. Some of you may have ran into the same problem that I've ran into, where it shows up in Blender, you can see the textures when it's in texture mode, but once you render it, the uh, textures on the 3D graphic are not there. The image and textures do not show up. And I found a solution that I'd like to share with you to where the image shows up with all the textures once you do the final render. First off, in case you don't know, let, let me show you how to import a scanned PLY file. So I'm going to go File, Import, choose Stanford.PLY. This is a 3D scanned image of my son in a costume that I made for him. I paid to have him 3D scanned and this is the file they sent me. So that's him, a picture of him in the costume. So we're going to import the 3D scan file. So here it is. Click Import PLY. And you would do this same with any other 3D image that you found elsewhere that you want to import into your 3D Blender file. It has now imported, but you can't see it because they put it straight in the middle. I'm going to fix that a little bit. I'm going to go to Animation View. I'm going to go into the uh, Object Panel. And I'm going to choose 3. 3. Three. I'm going to go back to model view and you still can't see it it is not behaving so let's zoom in alright so I found them so I'm going to right click and select them and let's move them a little bit out of the way so we can see where he is. And then I'm going to go to top view. And I'm going to move him over. And I want him to be a little bit bigger even further. This is another 3D scanned image of him that I want to stand next to. So view front let's rotate it alright so I want to rotate him on Z 30 degrees let's do 90 degrees let's increase the scale And let's move them up. And I'm going to move this one. Move him over. And I'm going to rotate him a little more this way. Scale him up. So let's see what we got here. I'm going to go view, front, and let me view top. They are not side by side. So move him here and move him forward. And to the side. Move him. Over. Alright, view front. Let's 
The last thing I want to show you is when you import a PLY file, when you render it, here let me show you. I already set it for the uh, Halo, but not the Deathstroke. You can see that the texture is showing for Halo, but the texture is not showing for Deathstroke. So let's fix that. I'm going to go back into solid mode. I want to select Deathstroke. What I need to do is go into Material Panel. And with that selected, I right click to select it. I'm going to go New. And then under Options, you check Vertex Color Paint. Now let me show you what that did. You go under Rendered. Give it a second to render. Okay, now that it has rendered, you can see, obviously, that it has color. And that's what you want. Once you're done with that, you can render it and it'll look exactly as you see right there. Hey class, if you like this video, please click like below and subscribe to this channel. Also, like us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter.